Uh, the instant he did that, you know, he was criticized. You know, his friend said something, his uh, mother said something. You know, people want to tear down something. Uh, I, I, actually, just last night, too, another friend of mine, too, uh, who, who's in another country right now performing, um, he shared something. And I was, I was praising him for something that he was doing, and I thought it was very unique, and I thought that symbolically it had great value. And, um, and, and a bunch of people were giving him a hard time for it, too, even though he really just, he had an idea, and he thought that this would set himself apart from other people. And just like this other young man that I was talking to had, that had this idea to share, you know, a, a part of himself. And it brought him joy to do it. You know, in that moment, they had fun. They were excited. And, and they started doing it. And, you know, and some people embraced it. But then there were others that came around and they say, oh, you look like a fool. How dare you? You see, people are always looking to steal our joy. You know why? Because they're not so happy themselves. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. Because when you do something that brings you joy and someone comes over and stomps all over it, what are they really saying to you? I mean, is it really? Are you really the one that has the problem? Are you really the fool? Because you're just doing something that brings you joy? Or is it the fact that, you know, they're not doing what you're doing and that bothers them? Because you're doing something different. You're doing something unique. You're putting yourself out there and you're not caring what people think. So these people, and they're usually the people that are most close to us, you know, they're the ones that start saying, well, you know, these little videos you're doing, this mini van of love, Jacob, you know, it's a little nutty. Oh, you're going to get, you're going to get into an accident because you're driving every time I want to grab the wheel. People try to steal your joy because they're not happy themselves. And the problem is, if a person sets out to do something, thinking that if they do that, they'll be happy. And then someone comes along, and they say, Oh, I don't like that. You look like a silly goose. Well, guess what? That person who, who started off excited to do something that would bring them joy, now feels ashamed. And feels foolish for even thinking of doing such a thing. Feels ridiculed. That's not life. See, Christ came to give us life and more abundant life. And what Christ is, it's the power and wisdom of God. The power and wisdom of God. It's really, we can boil it down to the power and wisdom of love, the power and wisdom of truth, the power and wisdom of justice, the power and wisdom of, of knowing what is the right thing to do for others is the right thing that you would do for yourself. When you have this understanding, when you realize that it's better to serve than to tear down, when it's better to build than to tear down, when it's better to fill than to take away, then you start being a light in this world. And that light carries on. So I spoke to this friend, and I actually, and I communicated via email with this other friend. And I said, do what makes you happy. It's a unique part of yourself and what you're doing is actually a beautiful thing and it's an important thing. And for every person that comes over and ignorantly says, oh, you silly goose, you shouldn't do that. There are 10 others, I promise you, that are happy that you did. And those 10 others are then gonna share that light with another 10 and 100 and 1,000 and 10,000 and 100,000 and a million. And it goes on and on and on. You see, we are the lights of this world. Don't let other people snuff out your light. So I'll do my minivan of love. I'll do funny voices. I'll do doopy doopy doo. I'll do anything that I enjoy because happiness is not found by putting it out there and then waiting for everybody to tell me how great it is. Happiness is found by doing it. Doing this makes me happy. Sharing a part of myself makes me happy. Hoping that it touches somebody's life makes me extremely happy. So. Don't let other people stop on your dreams, even if it's silly.